Okay. Hey, Diane, this is to answer your question, how to finish uh, the triangle from the reverse arm lock sequence that we're working over the weekend. From the reverse arm lock, you have foot on the hip, growing up to the shoulder, attack the arm. But from this position, he's posting and he's coming up. So it's difficult to finish from here. Left hand goes to the ear. You're not gonna push, you're just gonna block. So make sure that when you put your hand on the ear, you don't wanna go under by the chin, you don't wanna get wrist lock. So you wanna put the palm right on his ear and cup around the back of the head if you can. Now look at my right foot, it's going to be on his hip, right? From his back, I'm gonna put it on his hip. Now as I block with my left arm, I'm going to kinda of extend his right, his arm with my right. Right, as he's posting, I'm going to tuck my heel in. I can use my right foot on his bicep to create more space. I'm going to lift my hip. Two things, gonna, uh, several things will happen. I'm going to lift my hip, keep the pressure with my leg on his body. As I bring my left leg over and around his neck, I'm going to keep lifting and look at my right arm. I'm gonna push the arm across. See that, from here, Keep the pressure. As I lift my hip, I'm gonna bring him to my right as his arm goes to my left. And look at my hip coming up. Now, I'm gonna go really slow. Mike has a bad arm, a shoulder. I'm going to cup the back of my knee. Okay, you're gonna keep your hip up while your heel clamps down towards your knee or towards the shoulder. I'm gonna pull it down. Notice that his head and his arm, right, is right below my belly button. I do not want